our next speaker hardly needs any uh, introduction. He's one of us, lives among us. He's one of our uh, local chiefs, but in addition, works hard provincially and nationally for all of us. So I'm going to call Robert up to have him say a few minutes. As many of you know, when, when I only know about 30 words in Pakula, I have to use them <laughs> So I think I used 31, I might have made one up there. But it's, uh, of course, to stand yeah, in this great house and what it represents for our peoples. And not just the Namgis or the Kukosutinu for Kwamis, but all of us. And that this was a place of sacred activity, a place where our people would uphold their responsibilities and bind us together. And that we would find ways and paths to move forward in a united way. And it is something that I am excited to hear being spoken of to reinvigorate and to bring it to activity. And of course, at this time, with all the challenges that we face with British Columbia and Canada, that now is the time, more so than ever, that we need to be we Lamekans number one among, who we need to be one people. And it is through activities and, and having conversations with our Gigobe and having such a wonderful host to bring us together that we are gently reminded of the laws and the traditions which are the foundation of our people. And I've thought about this many times in all the nights in hotels all across BC. And I've thought, how can we make sure that our politicians hold on to the traditions and the values that we as Kwakwakwak people hold? Because this is who we are. It is our place in the world, no better or no less than any other people, but it is our way. And I really want to encourage us to, to support our Gikume. We all know who our family chiefs are, and we find a way to support them and stand with them, so that they can take on the work of ensuring that the activities of our nations, engaging with government, are consistent with who we are as people. And I think then we will start to see a path forward for that, be that better future, that, that greater path that we all want for our children. And so this is the words that I want to share with you. I'm pretty sure there's a few people nervous that I got the microphone in here. <laughs> but uh, it's interesting being part of the First Nation Leadership Council because I look at my colleagues here and we were all just together in Fort Nelson, B.C. at the beginning of this week, standing with the uh, Fort Nelson First Nation and their challenges on liquid natural gas. And it is our, our role that we fulfill to go in and, and to bring the strength and the weight of the organizations that we represent to support various First Nations. And it's always an honor to do so. My, my heart is forever in Wyastums, and I look forward to when our Gita may make the the decision on when we're going to open up our big house in Guilford because it's rebuilt now. As is pretty much the entire village. So I'm looking forward to that day. Gail, catch the hum of the little blood thing. 